comments like this. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab my uh, tablet real quick, verify that we're even live. We're in um, Noel. We're in Noel, Missouri, and our load at Tyson here is not ready. And uh, I'm in the process of working on a video called uh, called Reboot. So you know, like we're going to be rebooting the channel. And uh, in order to reboot the channel, we got to have some new stuff, i.e. The truck and a lot more stuff to reboot a channel. And um, got a new little toy here too. Was able to pick up a a laptop suitable for editing yesterday as well. Let's see here if I can pull myself up. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. What the hell? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. I found it. Hold on. There we go. Alright, so... Looks like I got the comments going now. I even liked my own video. Which is something you should be doing. So anyway, we're going to be testing out... Uh, the live capabilities of this new drone. We just picked up the uh, the Mavic 2 Pro Zoom, uh, and this is the first time we're going live with it. So let's do it. Take off. The home point has been updated. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. The cool thing about the co shut up. I'm still learning how to. Enable and well, I know how to enable the noise is the warning. This thing has um, this thing has a uh, collision avoidance and all this shit on it. And uh, but the cool thing about it is, watch this. It has zoom. I can zoom in on myself. Thank you, Mr. Sparky, for the two dollars. But this is full zoom, and this is we're gonna back up now. So you can zoom in and zoom out with the drone. So that way, if you're, uh, you know, getting too close to an object and you want to see it a little bit better, you can zoom in, which is pretty freaking cool. So we got a full battery here. We're live. It's uh, Saturday. We're in the middle of nowhere uh, in Noel, Missouri. And we're going to uh, fly around a little bit. I know. Quiet down. Let's turn that thing off. Here, let me move the thing closer so I can read the comments. Yeah, I'll turn that stupid thing off. Hold on. Off. Collision avoidance off. There we go. Alright. Put the damn tablet up here so I can see the comments on the table. Got the drone flying over there. Uh, I'm going to uh, actually heading up to um, uh, Grandview, Washington with this load. So we're going to be uh, on a nice long trip here the next couple of days. But we're here in Noel. Noel, Missouri. And the back road that I had to take to get here was oh so sweet and i'm gonna um try to get that on film tomorrow with the gopro on the uh on the uh you know windshield mount there but yeah this is the uh the drop yard um where the uh what do you call it um tyson trailers and prime trailers and such get dropped off and um my load's not ready so But this town is so tiny, and I'm going to show you here real quick. Let's just go up a little bit. 
we're going to start getting some altitude. Let's zoom out a little bit. Yeah, those overhanging rocks are something, man. I could have sworn the trailer was going to hit, but we didn't hit, so. But let me show you this real quick. So right over here is the Tyson plant. Okay. This is the Tyson plant. And this is a little bit, like three stores right there. And then over here is the town and that's it let's fly over there that's the town that is the town and uh i know you can't see it but through the trees there through those winding trees is the road that i took to get in here and man some very tight steep hills and turns and it was very refreshing to drive through there and as you can see, the river is uh, up today, as you can tell. Those overhanging rocks that the guy was talking about. Who said that before? Who said overhanging rocks? Uh, who else said that? Uh, ooh, who said that? Uh, somebody said overhanging rocks. But these are the overhanging rocks right here. I'm going to fly over here and check them out real quick. Try not to hit the uh, freaking power lines and stuff. When I'm flying over water and stuff, I usually like to keep my camera down like this. So that way when I'm lowering down like I am now, I don't lower down onto any wires or poles. So I can see the wires there. Got to just be careful. So we're going to move over here a little bit. Move forward out of the way of the wires. Keep coming down. I'm not I'm not I'm not ignoring you guys in the comments. I'm just trying to not crash this brand new drone. So uh, bear with me a little bit people Bear with me But these are the overhanging rocks that they were talking about Zoom in a little bit. Wait, wrong way. You actually drive underneath these chiseled out pieces of rock in the mountain. Pretty, pretty freaking cool. I don't know how much lower I can get. I'm at 149 feet right now. Let me see here. Look down and see what's in my way. See a stick floating by move over let's come down a little bit more we're at 80 80 feet 80 feet off the water it's a little bit better of an angle now but yeah look at that just drive right under and the water's dripping off the mountain there I gotta figure out how to turn this autofocus off this is so annoying let me see here Picture, style, color, camera settings, enable autofocus, oh, uh, yeah, 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 anti-flicker, storage, I don't know, I have to learn how to mess with that, oh, uh, that beeping is so annoying, though, I know, I do apologize, but anyway, yeah. That's all there is to this town. Well, let's go back up a little bit before we lose signal here. So 
what do you guys think of uh, this uh, small tiny? I mean, this town doesn't even have a subway. It don't even have a McDonald's. I mean, it has absolutely nothing. I was gonna wait. I was gonna wait to to come here today, but I was like, you know, let me get over there real quick and see. Wishful thinking, if I could pick the load up and see if it was ready. And sure enough, it wasn't ready. So here I sit right now as we sit and wait. That is so annoying. We have to figure that out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, so also the reason I got the new drone is we're going to be doing a new segment um, on the show. And I'm going to call it the backing hour. Everybody knows in trucking that around, you know, 5.30, 6, 7 o'clock at night when the sun starts to go down, that the truck stops. That is, hold on, we got to figure that out. Hold on. Let me try this button here. Um, enable focus mode. Lock gimbal and capture. Uh... Let me see if that worked. I just changed the setting. Oh yeah, that worked. We're not getting any more autofocus beeps. Unless I press the screen. Okay, good. Good. Now we're beep free. Okay. So yeah, so we're going to be doing a new segment on the show called The Backing Hour. Okay. And everybody knows that, you know, around that time of night when... Trucks are coming in, they're looking to park. It's getting pretty crazy in there. Spaces are running out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly the drone over the truck stop and uh, we're gonna capture guys, um, you know, uh, backing into their spots and see if we can catch anything exciting, you know? Oh, I'm not, hey, just cruising, how you doing, brother? Uh, I'm not worried about Little Dog because as you guys can see, if you guys click the link below and go check out my shirts and stuff, uh, we're uh, we're talking shit right back. Uh, we're making shirts. Uh, we're making fun. We're having fun. <laughs> Damn flies. And uh, yeah, the the war the war is on for the the t-shirts. And I already know that they're selling like hotcakes. You know. What's up with these flies? Oh my god. Let's zoom out a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Got to do your homework. There you go, Derek. But anyway, there's nothing exciting happening over here in Noel, Missouri. Absolutely nothing happening. All I can tell you is the flies are uh, they're out and about today, boy. So we're going to bring this thing in and land it. Just wanted to test out the live feed capabilities. Damn flies! Crazy out here. Oh my god, bro, for real. Come on, girl. Got a birds flying around. And I gotta tell you, this thing, this drone versus the old one that I had, I had the, I had the Phantom 3 Advanced, and um, this thing versus the old one is wow. It's very, very smooth, um, very, very uh, easy to use. You just have to have a half a brain, you know, on how to fly these things. Landing. It lands itself, which I'm still getting used to. Um, the whole landing, the whole landing itself thing, I'm still getting used to. Um, but uh, <clears throat> other than that, this thing is pretty badass. Let me move this over some so I can put this on the table. There we go. Anyway, uh, 
we'll finish up with this live feed. What's up with these flies, dude? And one flew in my damn truck. One flew into my truck. I'm trying to get center frame here. Anyway, uh... Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty badass, this thing. Pretty badass. Um, so anyway, so I'm in the process of making a video called, uh, Rebooting the Channel. And what I mean by, what I mean by that, since you guys are watching, I'll tell you guys now. We're going to be rebooting the whole infrastructure of the channel. Um, and start doing vlogs again. And, um, and we're getting ready for the reboot only because, let's just say... Let's just say that the wait is almost over. We are we are no longer we are no longer in the um, and th and this is all this is all. Um, oh, let me move this thing up here so you guys can hear me. Let me hold this. Um, no, I don't have my barbecue stuff with me, buddy, Ivan. Anyway, so the wait is almost over for the truck. Now we are like ninety five percent set on the truck that we have chosen we are in the process of waiting on paperwork and um, some other things to get done and uh, I'm not going to tell you when I'm not going to tell you what it is I'm not going to tell you shit just know that it's the wait is almost over and um So yeah, so we have the new truck, got a new drone, got a new laptop, we got a new camera. Well, the camera's a couple of months old, but um, we're going to start doing driving vlogs again, you know, because now we'll have a hooded truck and the view from the dashboard camera and the other cameras is going to be a lot better, in my opinion, a lot better than the hood of a Volvo, don't get me wrong. I'm not hating on my Volvo. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah. So we're going to be utilizing the Patreon. You know, the videos will go up on the Patreon account prior to going on YouTube. Live feeds will continue to go up on YouTube, obviously. Um, once the video's up on Patreon for, you know, 24 hours or so, it'll go over to YouTube. I mean... And just to explain the Patreon thing real quick, because a lot of people get it confused. The Patreon account that I have is strictly, right now, right now, it's strictly for people that want to support the channel. That's all it's there for. It's not there to, you know, for any other reason, for people that want to support the channel. I have it set for $4.99 a month. It's nothing. Yes, recently I haven't been doing anything because been waiting patiently for the right moment to strike and I'm telling you people that moment is coming very soon I mean very soon um, so I encourage you guys if you want to support the channel click the link in the description box below for the patreon sign up all that good stuff and you will get to see all the good stuff before anybody else does um, other than that just get ready because the reboot the reboot's coming there's gonna be a lot of cool new segments you know we got with the drone here uh you know we're gonna, like i said we're gonna call it the backing hour and uh we're gonna pop the drone up and you know try to videotape guys backing into their spots and stuff like that and uh it's gonna be pretty cool stuff it's gonna be pretty cool stuff now um i'm gonna end this video real quick what what i'm gonna try to do what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to end the video. I'm going to try to end the video. I'm going to see if I can take the battery out of the drone, put a new one in, and keep the live feed going. I mean, there is going to be like a minute delay. But... I mean, 
one of two things is going to happen. Either I'm going to take the battery out and the live feed is going to get killed. If that happens, stay tuned uh, for the reboot video that I'm working on now. It'll be up later tonight, maybe. Um, and stay tuned, obviously, very well. Uh, very soon, we got a lot of stuff going on. We got table talk still happening. We're going to start doing that a lot more. And um, this thing even goes up. Look. Oh, wow. Yeah, so stay tuned for table talk as well, live, uh, where we take your calls and have fun, goof around on the phone. Uh, but if this works, there's going to be... The screen's going to black out for a few minutes. And it might kick back on when the new battery pops in. I don't know. So we'll see what happens. Let's test this out. So if it doesn't work, thanks for watching. Check out the links below for the t-shirts, the Patreon, and all the other good stuff in the description box to help you guys out. And we'll see you later. If not, we'll be right back. I don't know if this is going to work, so we'll see. has been updated please check it on the map hey are we still live no way did that actually work did that actually work what that's awesome that means because i have i bought i bought the um the fly more kit with the drone it came with a case it came with two extra batteries it came with all types of shit but the cool part about it is is unlike the mavic i mean unlike the uh, the phantom 3 that i had in on the phantom 3 oh that is so fucking cool on the phantom 3 when you take the battery out of the drone it would literally take two to three minutes between taking the battery out, putting the new one in, turning it back on, waiting for the gimbal to recalculate and calibrate or whatever. This took 20 seconds? That means that while we're doing the backing hour segment live on YouTube, we could land the drone real quick if nothing's going on, swap out a battery and keep on flying. Oh my God, that's uh, for the win. For the win, DJI. For the win. Anyway, so now I got a fresh battery in here. Uh, I can stay live and chit-chat with you guys for a little bit. Oh, I know. I know. I got to tighten up. I, gotta, I haven't cut my hair. I haven't cut anything in like two weeks. So I need to tighten this stuff up. I see people talking about the beard and stuff. That is so cool. And look at the way they have this controller set up. This is pretty badass, the way this is set up. Shoots in 4K at 30 frames a second. So, yeah, pretty, pretty stoked. Pretty stoked. Let's, um, let's fly a little bit longer. Let's see here. Let's, uh, let's take this thing off and see how, see what we, see if we can get a good aerial shot. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please All check right, we are up. the map. Alright, uh, turn this way. Let's go over here. Move that around a little bit. Zoom out. There's still a bunch of um, buttons. Oh, look at that. Oh, I didn't, that's what I was just wondering. Now that's cool. Zoom out, obviously. All right, what we're gonna do here, we are going to uh, take it up pretty high, see what we can see. So let's go over here real quick. Let's fly in in front of my truck, and then we'll go up from there. There's the RST Volvo. Or should I say the RST little guy Volvo? <laughs> you know, I I gotta tell you, man, I've had the truck for a year now, 
and I I will miss it in a, in a way. Has been a lot of good memories with it. Um, oh, you people don't want me to follow the Tyson truck? Where'd he go? Oh, he's still no. Where'd he go? Let's. He said follow the Tyson truck and mess with him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, he's gone. Where did he disappear to? Or maybe he went over to the plant. Let's go over to the plant and see what we can see. Where'd he go? He's not over there at the plant. Where'd he go? Oh, we got another candidate coming in, so let's see what we can see here. Trying to watch out for all these wires and stuff, obviously. Damn flies. Ugh. They're big flies out here, man. Let's see if I can get up close without scaring the shit out of them. Checking my surroundings here, make sure I'm not gonna go crash landing into some shit. You know, this drone is so quiet, he probably can't even hear it. Oh, there's that Tyson guy. Nah, I'm just looking for my trailer. I'm gonna drive through this big mud puddle. Oh yeah, look at me. Oh yeah, we're mudding now. Is he gonna pick up a trailer or what? Oh yeah, we're gonna get some trailer action here. Hold on, let me move out of the way. Make sure I'm not gonna fucking crash. Hmm. Oh yeah, here we go. Got some action happening now. Some serious action. Wow, look at this. Zoom in a little bit. Oh yeah, look at this. Come on driver, get it. Get it. Oh, yeah. Look at him go. Look at him go. I'm so proud of him. So proud. Got to be careful, man. Don't want to get too close. People will shoot my shit out of the sky. Oh, he's waving. Look at that. Nice guys. And they're waving. What do you know? All right, let's leave him alone before we freak him out. Get a different get a different angle. That's pretty funny. He was waving. He was waving. Let's go up high real quick. Let's see how high we can get with this drone. I used to be able to do 12, 1300 feet, no problem, with my other drone. I think this one maxes out at like 16, 1700 feet. So we'll see. We're gonna see here. These fucking flies, oh my god. Reminds me of being back in Africa. In Africa, when I was over in Africa with the Navy, the flies ugh, were way worse than this, man. They were everywhere. They were fucking everywhere. Excuse my language. Right now we're creeping up to 700 feet. Kevin, wait till you see the new truck, man. 
Wait till you, wait till you guys see it, man. You're gonna all shit your pants. It's gonna be awesome. We are getting up there, boy. We are putting this new drone through its paces live here on YouTube right now. Yes, I was in Djibouti there, uh, Mr. Sparky. <coughs> Back in 2009 and 10, I... 2000... 2009... Uh, 2008, 2009... No, when was it? I want to say 2008, 2009. That's... I'm having a brain fart. Still going up, by the way. Maximum flight altitude reached. We reached our maximum flight altitude of 1,638 feet, ladies and gentlemen. According to the drone, that's as high as it'll let me go. But, wow, we are up there. See the river. Wow, look at that. That's pretty. You guys can see those mountains that I was talking about that I drove through. There's the road right there straight ahead that I drove through to get into the town. And uh, it was a fun ride. We're not going to be taken that way on the way out, unfortunately. And um, But we're going to be taking a lot of back roads tomorrow to get, to get up through Joplin and get up to Wichita. And then um, on our way across 70 into Denver, up across into Cheyenne, across the 80 into Salt Lake, and then up through uh, Oregon and Washington. The place where I'm going to in Washington is right over the state line near Hermiston, Oregon. Going to a Walmart DC up there in Grandview, Washington. But yeah, what a view. Look at this. Very pretty. See how our guy's doing. Let's go back down. See how he's doing. Let's zoom in. Zoom back out. Yeah, I'm going to be going through Boise. Yep. Peterbilt watch is still in effect. Yes. That's right. Make sure you guys go check out the link below. Uh, it's at the top of the description box for the uh, t-shirts and the Patreon. Um, the t-shirts are now more than ever easier to get and choose. I have a bunch of different styles and it's just way easier now than it ever was to go and get shirts and they're not as, they're not expensive. Uh, we're going to be putting hats and stuff and all that stuff on there. It's going to just keep getting bigger and bigger. The little guy's store is going to get bigger and bigger, so stay tuned. Oh, he looks like he's in motion. Looks like he's about to be in motion. The only thing I can say that, uh, as far as difference between this drone and the old one, the Phantom 3 Advanced that I had is this one takes longer to go up and down. And I have it in sport mode right now. So in sport mode, it, I mean, it flies pretty fast, but go uh, ascending and descending, it sure does take a few uh, moments to get up and down. It took us about a minute and a half, two minutes to get to our maximum flying height. And it's taken us about the same time, if not longer, to get down. Uh, no, I actually sold the other drone, Next Gen. I sold it to my buddy Mike, and uh, he has it now. That day that I told everybody that I was going to sell it, I had like, I don't know, 30 people reach out to me, and he was the first one that actually paid up the money for it, so I let him have it. I had the Phantom 3 Advanced, and the one that I have now is the Mavic Pro 2 Zoom. And this thing is freaking awesome. 
compared to the Mavic 3 that I had. Obviously, the Mavic 3 Advanced is much old technology, um, but this one here is just wild. I really like the fact that I can swap out the battery and not lose my live feed. There he goes. As you can see, I'm pretty good at flying this thing. I've played a lot of video games in my days. And uh, flying the drone is like second nature, so. wonder how fast this thing can go. I think it goes like 30 miles an hour at like top speed. We're going to test that out here in a second. You know, let's test it out now real quick while he's getting his paperwork. Let's see here. Here we go. Max speed test. All right. Um, here we go. We're at 30 miles and 31 miles an hour. 31, 31 miles an hour. That's how, that's how fast it flies. 31 miles an hour. Yeah, third, 30, 31, that's where it's maxing out at. And the cool thing about this drone versus the other one, this one will fly damn near 16,000 feet away from the controller. Now, I'm a little nervous to test that, but we will one day. Woof, man. Got to add some music to this footage. This is good. Following this truck with no problem. Make sure I'm not going to crash into anything. We are 1,100 feet away from the controller. Where's he going? Where's he going? Oh, he's going to go into the, to the plant, looks like. Get out of here, fly. Holy shit. Uh, I'm in Noel. Noel, Missouri right now. And the flies are kicking my ass. He's going to laugh when he sees me flying over here and, he, and I followed him over here. gonna go and scale his load. Ow! Oh man, got him sitting on this concrete block and it is doing a terrible job on my ass. Let's lower down right here in front of him. Probably thinks the fucking FBI is watching him or something. You know what I gotta do too is I gotta. I'm gonna. I should probably not be flying over here right now because technically there's not supposed to be any cameras or anything <laughs> in the Tyson plant. I saw a sign. You know I don't want. I don't want to have to uh, get my drone shot down out of the sky. So. I'm gonna come back over here to the drop lot, which is way over here. As you can see, we're pretty far away. Gotta land the drone anyway, the battery's almost dead. Been farting around here for a few minutes. 
bring it back in the lander. Oh my god, these flies are no joke. I hate flies. I hate them. I gotta get back in the truck. Oh my god. Oh! Fucking annoying. Where's my drone at? There it is. All right. Let's end this live feed real quick. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this has been a successful live flight with the uh, Mavic Pro 2 Zoom. That's a hell of a name. Um, we're going to land it real quick. Let me put it on some flat ground here. Hold on. I should just land it on the table. There we go. We'll land it on the table. Piss off the flies. Oh, it's gonna let me land on the table. Landing. Wow. That's pretty cool. It landed almost perfectly on the table. See, the cool thing about this drone, too, is it won't let you. It won't let you uh, land. Um, get out of here. It won't let you land. Like the mat, like the other ones where you, you do it, mat, like it'll sense the ground and underneath you, and then it'll come down on its own. So once it detected that the table was flat enough, I guess it landed it. But I actually want to try that again. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please again. check it on the map so I can learn. Oh yeah, this is great. Yeah, so as long as I as long as I position it perfectly over the table, I'm using one of these little fold-out tables, you know, card table, whatever you want to call it. Um, it'll land perfectly on its own. Come down smoothly, which is awesome. So anyway, um put this down for a second. Say goodbye to you guys in the comments. Um, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Stay tuned for, uh, you know, uh, a lot more, obviously. And uh, we'll, um, we'll, uh, we'll see you later. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe out there. Ugh. Now i got to end the live feed. End. How do you end it? Oh, shit. Here we go. Stop live feed. Here we go. Thanks for watching. See you later.